So here in SolidWorks, you see that I have opened just a pretty simple assembly, and I want you to look first at the configuration manager. So there is an exploded view created here, and I'm going to reuse that down here in my motion study tab. Kind of what you're seeing, um, each of the components has a line item, just like in the assembly tree. So everything matches there, and if you add one in one place, you'll get it in the other. You also have lights and camera, as well as your orientation and camera view. And down here at the bottom, I want to also note that you could control mates within here. So um, you get your choice of what type of study you want to do, your calculate, play, all that kind of thing. Um, also, you can control um, the playback mode. You can save, you can use the animation wizard, which we're going to do. And you can also do auto keys, which is as I move stuff, it's going to place it down here on the timeline. Or you could manually do that. Um, you can apply motors, you can use springs, all kinds of stuff within here. So um, some other options available as well. So the one I'm interested in for now is going to be the animation wizard. So the animation wizard is right here. It's the camcorder with the wizard um, wand on it. And it's going to bring up this interface. And first thing I'm going to do is delete all of the existing paths. So it's, if there's any garbage in there, it's going to go ahead and get rid of that. And the first thing I'm going to choose to do is rotate the model. If I could also explode or collapse. I can choose an axis now. So x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis to rotate about. Currently, we're going to probably choose the y-axis, but here you can kind of see each one. Um, number of rotations, we're going to go with just one clockwise. The duration in number of seconds, I'm going to change this to 10 just to shorten it just a little bit, or shorten it from 10 rather, to 8. <laughs> um, and I'm going to start at 0. So once I've hit finish, then you can see on the orientation and camera track, there are keys as it moves around. Now from here, I could continue on, or I'm going to actually um, continue on, and Let's do an exploded view this time. I'm not going to delete all of the existing paths because I would get rid of everything I just did, but I'm going to reuse that exploded view I was showing you had already been included. Once again, I'm going to do eight seconds here. And rather than starting directly at the eight seconds, I'm going to go ahead and start at nine seconds because as you can see, that's going to give me a little bit of a break in the action so that it, it kind of emphasizes that we're switching gears. And with a click of a button, it goes through and looks at my exploded view and creates a key for the movement of each of the components. So each line represents a component and each key represents some sort of movement. So it's pretty nice. It does it very quickly. So I'm going to go back to the animation wizard and the last step is to create a collapse. Once again, I'll go to next and then I'm going to change the dur duration rather to eight seconds again. And this time I won't leave a gap and I'm just going to start it at 17 seconds where the last one ended and finish. So here you can see it went ahead and created the rest of those views for the movement. Go ahead and play through those. So it rotates around the y, yeah, the y axis. Make sure I said that right around the y axis first for eight seconds, pauses, and then it begins the actual explode process. And once it gets through that, then it's going to start collapsing. And my camera is kind of zoomed out a little bit strange here, so I can't see the entire animation as it explodes. So at this point, I can go back and change the way that the camera is displayed. And I recommend doing that after you've created most of your motion, just so that you know where the camera should be. Now, right about here is probably where I want it to zoom out from, somewhere between there and there. So what I'm going to do first is copy that last key. So hold down control and drag it. That way it holds it from eight to nine seconds. And currently the disable view key creation is turned on. So that means that automatic zoom and rotate and that kind of thing has been turned off. So if I disable that so that it is usable, I know it's kind of confusing, then now as you can see it zooms out just because I scrolled using my scroll wheel out. And if I need to adjust it, it is recording it so I can just do that with my mouse. Zoom through the timeline here, kind of drag that around and you can see now at the end I probably want to zoom back in. It's still recording the camera views so I want to hold down control once again and drag this one to hold the spot 
And then at the end, I'm going to click once to place my timeline and then hit F for zoom to fit and it will record that as well. So now when I play through, it rotates around for eight seconds. Then it pauses and then begins the explode. And now that it's in a zoomed out position, I can see the whole thing. So once again, I recommend creating all of your steps as far as moving the components and then creating your camera views uh, and setting those keys because it's gonna be a lot easier to control all of that.